How was everyone's Easter? Because mine was phenomenal. Part of the reason I ask is because I really am curious about how it went, but most of the reason is because I want to follow through. Follow through? But Griff, whatever do you mean? Well, since you asked, in case you didn't notice, I ended yesterday's video with the very obligatory and unoriginal commission, Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, being of course a truncation of Have a Happy Easter, is something that a good deal of you probably heard a lot yesterday. It's like the gut reaction to a holiday. Whenever it's that day, your buys become happy this, and your passing hellos become merry that. And while I'm not disapproving of saying things like that, it just seems nowadays less like an actual wish for someone to have a happy blank day, and more just like an empty nicety. That is, however, unless you follow through. By asking you, in hindsight, how your Easter was, I am remembering that while today is plain old average April 25, yesterday was a day that's quite important to some people. Basically, viewer, I'm just trying to say I care. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's April 25, the 115th day of 2011, which means it's DNA Day. Interesting backstory for this holiday, it actually started as Dan Day, a day celebrating all people named Dan, but unfortunately some dyslexic son of a gun mixed the letters around on the rec center's billboard. And now instead of a day celebrating Dan, it's a day celebrating what Dan is made of. Okay, I'm coming clean, that last bit was a lie. Today is DNA Day for actually two reasons. 58 years ago today, James D. Watton and Francis Crick published their article about the double helix structure of deoxyribonucleic acid. It was a very big jump for science, for understanding the building blocks of all life, and they jointly received the Nobel Prize in 1962 for their findings. You know, before Nobel Prizes were handed out like candy. There was actually a Nobel Prize in my Easter candy this year. Maybe I'll wear it around my neck and run around with my arms out, like Superman. Excelsior! Okay, come and clean again. That last bit was also a lie. Anyway, exactly 50 years after the publication of aforementioned article, that is, eight years ago today, the Human Genome Project came to an end. Although the findings of the Human Genome Project are great and all, I can't get over how selfish the project was. I mean, Watson and Crick discovered the structure of the building block for all life, and you guys spend years and years exclusively mapping out humans. Think of the animals! PETA is actually in the early stages of their canine genome project, which they plan to get started on as soon as they can get enough people to give a crap about them enough to give them some money. Personally, I don't think PETA has a chance, given that their recently created alternative to the barbaric chocolate bunny, Chocolate Grass, was a flop this year. Mmm. I'm eating this little chocolatey bunny brain. So good it makes me want to eat meat. Okay, okay. I gotta come clean for a third time. That last bit was also a lie. It's systematic lying, isn't it? Maybe I have a problem. And now many of my viewers are going, Yes, Griff, you definitely have a problem. Mentally unstable? I don't think so. I mean, there was the whole February 29 episode, but other than that, I've been totally mentally healthy. Yeah, both of us have been. Well, there's that, I guess. <laughs> anyway, until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking.